have like a little YouTube video about Jason and his studio. Do, can, can we play just a little bit of that? He's working on a drum and bass. What kind of, is it, what is this, dubstep? I don't know what it is. What is it? It's just a banger is what it is. And me and Jason have known each other for 20 years. We were in a band together. And he's a, a DJ producer extraordinaire. Um, I, I, I would like to say what you've done. Go ahead. Tell me, tell me yeah, well, I mean, I know that you got your start with heart 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 attack heart Daniel, attack Daniel Levada, with, heart attack was my first one and that i remember when that happened yeah. it was like a big deal it was like years into him producing for fucking you probably wrote hundreds of songs yeah, yeah, yeah. before totally. that one yeah that was the first big big one that was like and then i went to the whole pop world maroon you, Five. yeah you sent maroon five like a song that he knew was gonna work for them that wasn't even able to get to them through the normal channels oh, yeah it was, it was always you that one but then i ended up doing girls like you and what lovers do over there is but it was always stuff. you. Oh, that yeah, one? It was always, it was always you. Yeah. So yeah, that we, was we the one. sneak that one in, basically. Mm. We basically, their management team said, no, this will never work from Room 5. And then someone got Adam's email and did a blind, like literally like made up a new email and basically like, yo, check, just check out the song. It was like from intern at so-and-so. Yeah. And then Adam responded like, what is this song? And tracked us down, figured out who did the Insane. song. And then it ended up on Adam. It was, it was hilarious. The, man, the managers were like, you're never going to work in this business again. It was wild. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was crazy. Uh, that, that didn't end up happening. Because, yeah. yeah. And then he did uh, the Rufus to the Soul got stuff. A Grant, Grant got a Grammy for that. For Rufus. I remember when you started doing Rufus, I was like, that's like a lame name. Who is this band? <laughs> or whatever. But then, like, yeah. it, they ended up. It was like the perfect timing. Um, Nick Jonas. I mean, all the pop, all the big pop from Madonna to... Jonas Brothers, Katie, all that, all the pop stuff. Yeah, Derulo, all that. Yeah, just like that kind What's of. What's Derulo one? Talk dirty. How's it go? <laughs> okay, yeah. let's hear it. Yeah, this is elephant. Wait, can, can we do like a breakdown of each part? Yeah, I mean, I only have the just a couple. I only have the instrumental here, but basically, we got like it's just. The oh, right, right, right. Okay, right. well, let's do that. <laughs> So I ran all the vocals through these guitar pedals over here, which is pretty cool. That's how they sound so funky and weird. Every second of every hour, operate from the place of power. So, Elephant. Protect the kingdom. Protect the kingdom. Operate from a place of power. Elephant Heart is, you know, they're positive and spiritual and family oriented. I mean, there's so much negative, just stuff out there not like it's yeah, coming I mean, from like a dark kind of place we, well, music, a lot of stuff a lot of music yeah i think it, it comes from too much like, yeah so elephant heart's whole thing is like we want to like make music that empowers you empowers other people that are like you just totally feel connected to your creator that you feel connected to yourself each other so it's all like and you're like, like inner child and... yeah but it's like but we but it's like but it's all this kind of hard music but, right you know, so it's not like, hey, everyone, take care of yourself. <laughs> well, I mean, the hardest thing to do is to promote a positive message while having it still be cool. Yeah. It's I definitely. think darkness masks itself as cool. Yeah. For some reason. Because we're all, we all feel dark inside. So it's just like, you know, yeah. it's like, I don't know, but I feel like going straight dark sometimes, it's like, it's like low hanging fruit. Like it we, is harder to be positive and It is. You know? So this is like when it's all together. <laughs> My boys are coming. Oh, she's talking about like 
if you mess with her family. She's like, I know I said love is the weapon, but he messed with my boys. The old Vic you'll be getting. Yeah. <laughs> and she kind of, yeah. She goes hard. Yeah, she goes hard. Too, and sometimes. She kind of talks about, like, the darkness that she came out of. Or, you know, it's like. Right. I actually love this verse she wrote. That's good. If you only knew how far I'd come One stupid thing gets so broken and numb A voice in my head said, run, baby, run I light up your path to live like the sun Four days filled with hope, peace, freedom, and some You'll be sleeping through the battlefields like dumb, diddy dum You'll walk with no fear, you'll talk with no fear Your vision will be crystal clear you operate, to operate in a place mm. of power, you know I, guess, I love what she wrote there Yeah, it's great It's like positive, like old oh. school rap <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like Conscious rap um, I'm gonna show them the rest of the little, the little world. It's like a whole little world here. I do art here. I do art here. Our nonprofit. We run out of this room. Oh right. Make sure this is a nonprofit. In the Philippines. Yeah, we uh we went with them to the Philippines yeah. and um, to a little village called Lahala where they don't have running water. Art world. You have random structures. Leopard. Or a leopard. We just harvested all our fruit today. Yeah. This is their garden. The corn's booming. Wow. Oh, the girls went inside. Yeah. So, yeah. Might as well. I've seen these in some of Pat's party videos. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well show you the llamas while we're at it here. Dude, I always call them llamas. They're alpacas, not llamas. 